my name is Alexandra Master. I'm a fourth year art history major here at Westmont, and today I'll be talking about Ferdinand Bowles' The Sacrifice of Gideon. What first drew me into this picture was the contrast between the angel and Gideon and the dark forest behind it. It just creates a very evocative and emotive piece. This piece is also very significant for Ferdinand Boll in that it was one of the first that he produced in separating from Rembrandt. He was one of Rembrandt's most outstanding students. And with these prints and art coming out of that studio, he's trying to separate himself and make his own identity as an artist. This is very similar to the story of Gideon himself, as Gideon in this picture is receiving affirmation from an angel that he can fight the Midianites and support his own people. The manner in which the angel is providing this is showing a miracle of his lunch, essentially, being lit on fire right in front of him. Gideon then goes on to destroy the altars to Baal, and be quite successful in his own right. This also has another tie to the Dutch Reformation, which was going on at the same time, as Gideon, seen as a figure of defeating idols, was a celebrated figure of the Reformation when the Dutch were splitting from Catholic Spain. So this not only represents Bull's own separation from Rembrandt, but also the Netherlands' separation from Catholicism.